friends this is a hypermature morganian cataract in this video we are going to see capsulorexis in detail starting from incision to completion of capsulorexis this is the main incision this is a mid limbal incision involving some capillaries this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about three clock hours away this is another side port on the left side of the main incision another three clock hours away and now I always stain the anterior capsule of such cataracts underneath an air bubble because if you use an air bubble the dye doesn't touch the corneal endothelium even if it touches this is very minimal dye may touch and the dye is not diluted by aqueous and staining is very good waiting period is much less in this case I am waiting for a longer time but if you wait just for 5 to 10 seconds that is enough this is adrenaline we can see that the people has not dilated very well in this case so this is this may help this adrenaline may help in maintaining the dilatation that that we have got in this case now the dye is nicely washed out and then viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber in this case I am using methyl cellulose 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose as the viscoelastic substance and now let us see what happens as we make a puncture in the anterior capsule of this white cataract a 26 case bent needle cystitome is introduced through the right side port eyeball is fixed and as soon as the capsule is punctured a homogeneous milky fluid comes out this homogeneous milky fluid indicates this is a hypermature morgagnian cataract and in such cases we can aspirate this milky fluid without a minirexis. Yes, in intumescen cataract, a small rexis is required, but in hypermature Morgagnian cataract, we can aspirate the milky fluid just through the incision without a minirexis. The capsular flap will not extend to periphery inject visco and now do an optimum size direxis at on go now as I start doing the rexis some more milky fluid comes out and visibility becomes poor even when the capsule is there we can aspirate the milky fluid taking care that we don't aspirate the capsule if it comes we just have to flush it out and once most of the milky fluid comes out the rexis will be very much comfortable visibility will be very good and now some more visco and we can see that the nucleus is a rock hard almost black cataract so in such cases we must do a large rexis and I'm trying to do a large rexis going almost very close to the margin of the paper and yes a large optimum sized rexis has been done 
Let me repeat the important tips. Stain underneath an air bubble. Make a puncture on the anterior capsule and at this time you must see if there is any wrinkling of the anterior capsule or not to detect junular weakness. As you make a puncture, if milky fluid comes out, if homogeneous milky fluid comes out, it is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. In such cases, you can aspirate the milky fluid through the incision. I mean, you need not convert the capsular tag into a mini rexis as you require in intermediate cataracts. In hypermature Morgagnian cataracts, you can aspirate the milky fluid through the puncture, through the linear incision. And then do a large rexis if you see if it is a hard nucleus. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope these tips will help you in developing your surgical skills.